What's up funky people? I'm Iteration Funk and welcome back to the Enigmatica 2 universe. This video however is not about the Enigmatica series, only indirectly. It's about a new patron reward I have been working on for a while and I'm sure some of you weren't even aware that I had a patron. I haven't really been super loud about it. But yeah, anyways, I wanted there to be a way for my patrons to affect and interact with my current playthrough. And I didn't really have any rewards uh, except for a Discord rank, so I started working on this idea a couple of months back. My original idea was a website where you authenticate with your Patreon account and have some sort of dashboard. Where you could impact the series in uh, various ways. But I quickly realized making it a... A Discord bot was way cooler as well as easier for me to set up and I'm super excited to show you guys this thing Because it turned out way better than I could have hoped for So without further ado, let's jump into things When you have the patron rank on my discord you get two channels a text channel for you no know, Just talking in and then I have this new channel interactive bot that does a couple of cool things now this is the bot, and it's currently watching pictures of kittens, and uh, in parentheses not recording, so you know it's... Uh, I'm not recording at the moment. So let's start off by taking a look at commands that you can do offline, and, and I did some tests earlier, sending myself uh, supply drops, and Tom is hilarious, he just thought that was quote unquote testing, and was just giving myself a bunch of resources. I didn't, I totally didn't. But yeah, let's take a look at the offline command. So if you put in help, uh, you get the various offline commands you can do. So you can send me a nice gift that I will open at the start of a video or a naughty gift. And this is all uh, made possible by a open computer that's over here that does a bunch of things. So let's first take a look at nice and I'm gonna send myself something nice because yeah giving yourself presents isn't weird at all thank you and it will notify you that it kind of accepted the command and if i do open gifts here as a program going to fetch gifts and tom did send one earlier so we got two and that just injects a loot table into these shulker boxes the green one is from Tom, and the purple one is from me. So as you can see, there's a loot table here with some various things. I get some pistons, glowstone, uh, some things that are useful to me in the series. And Tom's... Let's see if Tom's is worse than mine. Did you give me good stuff, Tom? Energy acceptor. <laughs> Not too shabby. So this is the nice command, it's a completely... A custom loot table that I can add things to so it stays relevant. You know, a lot of rewards kind of goes. Uh, a lot of loot boxes in these kinds of mod packs can grow, let's say, uninteresting over time. So I think this is a good solution that I kind of add on as time goes on with more interesting rewards. Now let's open up something else. Let's try the not command. <laughs> and it sends you a different kind of message there. And if I open gifts again, we got a naughty gift. So this is a chance cube from the chance cubes mod. And for that, we're actually going to go over to an area I prepared a while back that's called safe distance. So over here, I'm like keeping my base a bit safe because <laughs> It would quickly get obliterated with all of the different stuff I have prepared. Let's open this and it's kind of Christmas box right now. What? Death? No, not death. Man, that's loud. So I'm glad I avoided that. And you can kind of see why I want a separate area for this. It's um, really destructive. Let's pick that up. So those are the offline commands. You can send them in between episodes whenever you want and I will be able to get them at the start of an episode. But we also have something that's really neat that's called 
live commands. So if I put in help live, you get those. Also, these will be output if I uh, toggle my recording mode, because of course I need to indicate that I'm recording so you actually know when to input these. So let's go back and uh, just make sure that's set up. Because I need to run a different program on the computer for this to work. So after I opened all of these boxes, I toggle on the live recording program and that will just, you know, look for commands in real time. So this is still going. The program hasn't exited out yet. Let's take a look at those commands. So when I go toggle recording and the series, it's going to not notify the channel that I'm recording and that these commands are now available. So let's go over them. And I'm back here, so we don't make a mess of things. So I'm not gonna show everything here because I think it's better left to mystery, but we're going to take a look at, let's say, uh, two of these. So let's do explosive surprise because I think everyone is interested in seeing what that's like. Let's put that in and it should kind of notice that in game soon enough. And we get a timer. This is ominous. Ah, it's actually short creepers. No, 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 no. Well, at least none of those triggered. Maybe you. The explosions are a bit limited in this pack, I think. That hole should probably be bigger. But yeah, that's the explosive surprise command that and it's uh, it's quite explosive. Let's leave it at that. And by default, you can't, of course, spam these commands. Patrons will be able to do one every 10 minutes, I think. Personally, I can put them in whenever and it will accept them. For example, if Tom tried here, he could only do one, one command every 10 minutes. So let's also check out, uh, let's see. Let's do supply drop. So that should show up pretty soon. And of course you get to see who sent the command, so I actually can thank them for for their contribution. So this is a supply drop. I think it's the same loot table as uh, the gifts you get. I have some of these commands set up with a different loot table. For example, item downpour will give me some items. Uh, it will rain down items on me and it's a bit different loot table. Get another loot chest full of terra firma. Some mana steel and stuff, that's pretty neat. And let's show one last command here. Let's um, let's do skeleton ambush. Why not? That sounds fun. Feisty wither skeletons, okay. That sounds bad. Where are they? Ah. Man, they were a bit delayed, but there are quite a few of them. Let's kill them. Yeah, this could turn scary if I actually were recording and I don't get it here, in, if I don't get to this location in time. At least with the explosive stuff. Let's get rid of this stuff. And yeah, while I'm recording, the status of the bot changes as well. So now it says watching Fung file up Minecraft and if I do toggle recording again, it's going to say that the recording session is over and all that and this bot goes back 
to watching kitten pictures, which is pretty much what I do when I don't record as well. So when will this feature go live? Well, it's technically already live, at least the gift parts, and I'll start doing it this, like the start of next week. So if you want to support me and the content I'm making, you can head over to my Patreon page and become a patron. This reward is included in the Funky Supporter tier. So as long as your pledge meets the requirements for the Funky Supporter tier, you get access to using the bots. You can see patron role on my Discord server and access to interactive bot. And of course, access to the patron server I plan to set up when I reach a goal. And access to patron locked content like sneak peeks and announcements. And I'm pretty bad at like posting sneak peeks in my patron channel. Now, I have no idea how this feature will be received. If there's like suddenly like 30 people doing a lot of commands, I might not get anything done in an episode. So if that ever becomes the case, I might move this reward to a higher supporter tier or have a special day of the week where this is enabled, for example, Mondays, because Mondays can be rough to record. So if I had a bunch of, you know, supporters throwing commands at me, that would, ah, that could be pretty fun for Mondays. I usually don't get a lot of things done on Mondays anyways. I hope everyone is excited for this feature as I am and that people are excited to see the commands that I didn't show off in this announcement. But yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, take care and stay funky.